Hey guys, I'm going to do another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to do a little deep dropping again. It's uh, kind of earlier in the morning, uh, I guess about 10 o'clock. And uh, we did a little fishing earlier and we ran out here, going to do some deep dropping. Experimenting with different color lights today. Yesterday I had a green from the Go Fish Cam and then a red and a blue. And today I've got uh, two blinking greens, seem really bright, and the uh, Go Fish Cam. So we're going to see if that makes a difference. And uh, time of day, all that stuff, see what we see on the Go Fish Cam and catch some fish. We're baiting up now, just working our way down the hooks, trying to prevent any tangles. And then we're about to uh, drop down on the spot. We're also trying a mixture of baits. Got some squid and some cut baits. Mixing it all up just to see what they like. It's really cool learning about this fish. It's kind of a new fish to us. So I'm trying to be very methodical and thorough and take good notes and all that stuff. We get out to the spot. We're in about 450 feet of water and we start our first drift. Put our lights on the rigs, put an assortment of cut bait and squid on our hooks. We got a five hook deep drop rig. It seems like my rigs are a little lighter. I've got a separate video where I show how I build it, but I'm using a hundred pound leader and then I'm just using a, a window weight. Uh, no fancy lead, just a cheap window weight. And we got a Tanacom 1000 that we're deep dropping with. We send the baits down and it's pretty cool. We got our Go Fish Cam in line and you can actually see down in 450 feet. Like it's not dark. I mean, at, at noon you can see pretty good. It, you lose light quicker being so deep, but you can actually see fairly decently. Like it's fairly bright down there. A lot of people think even when I dive 80, 100 feet, they're like, oh, can you see anything down there? Is it dark? I'm like, no, nah, it's like normal. I mean, it's not dark at all. And even so, at 450 feet, you can see pretty cool. It was pretty neat seeing the towel fish come up to the baits and bump them. You can actually see the tip bumping. That braid is very sensitive, thankfully. And if you pay attention to your rod, you'll see it bump. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're getting bites. There we go. Had a bite, guys. Gonna mark the spot so uh, yeah, so we know. Yeah, you see on swordfish, you're looking for like just the slightest little movement. Yeah. You got any shallow or about the same? Yeah, we've been kind of getting a little shallower, about 494 right now. Uh, 19 meters. 15 meters. Guys, we're gonna readjust and do another drift. Try to drift right over where we got the bites. A lot of times you can go right back there and get the bite again. Got fish biting. Yeah. I think that's like our third hit so far. We just haven't got them to stick yet. I'm curious what the camera shows, how they're biting or something. Oh yeah, I think. Oh yeah. 
think you got them. Yeah, no, maybe at least for now. Yeah. Hey, uh, 135 meters. So, oh, it seems like a good one. We missed several and finally got this one. Along the way, yeah. He seems pretty good. Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's a bucket marker there now, isn't it? Yeah. 116 meters. Yeah, we're not even halfway. Nice. Thanks. Far fighter than anything. Yeah. yeah. You the orange yet? Yeah. How's your thumb feel? Feels, feels good. It was about 180. Um, yes, so 88 meters. Well, if we got two on, maybe we still take that too. Could have multiple, yeah. Once we get the bump, we'll just uh, put put the reel in gear and, and bring the fish up. It's nice having the electric reel. Um, I don't run it wide open, you know, just maybe half or two thirds. Um, I know. Different people are always asking, you know, what's the best electric reel? And, and some will say, oh, I've had a problem with the Tanacom, and some have had problems with the others. So far, I haven't had any issues with the Tanacom, other than the cable. Sometimes you gotta replace the cable. But uh, I try to take care of it. I don't, you know, go wide open all the time. I just, you know, go at a fair, fairly fast speed, but just, just enough so it don't burn up the engine or the electric motor. Help the battery don't die before it gets up. Uh... <laughs> and I will have to manually. The good thing about the Tanacom is you do have a manual motor. Yeah. 40 oh yeah, yeah, I see. Oh, well, I get fish. Is there one or two on there? I'll spin him in a little bit. That's a big fish if that's just one. Got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Big air rounds. It's good fish. That's a that's a that's a stud there, now, ain't he? Yeah. It's good fish. Okay. Try one more drop, and we can head in. Yeah. Unless they just go crazy. One thing to keep in mind, if you're getting bumps, like mark it, because we're drifting, and you may not see anything on your depth recorder, but a lot of times I'll get bumps, I'll mark it, I'll drift a little further, never get hooked up, and then I'll pull back forward, drift right along that same line, and, and right where I got the bumps the last time, I'll get bumps again. So there's something there holding the fish. And keep them year after year, because we've come back to these spots, and they still seem to hold fish.
There we go. <laughs> I think you got him that time. Ah. Dang, I'd be curious how they're coming off. I guess thought we had that one pretty good, but I guess he came off. Be real curious to see what the camera shows. May try some different hooks, see if it helps. And uh, but it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool learning experience for us, and that camera really helps us to learn. Thankfully, we caught some really nice tile fish on this trip. Uh, the previous year, it was actually super dark on the bottom. I actually couldn't see it even during the middle of the day. And I think that was because of a thermocline. Uh, kind of a uh, colder different conditions but today uh, as you can see on the underwater video pretty cool shots of the fish how they bite and it's pretty easy to see so just good good year i guess for uh, catching towel fish we hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe we've got other deep drop and towel fish videos i'll put links below and uh, find us on the other social media sites like facebook and instagram we'll see you next time on real hazardous